My life on the X list. Uh, January 19th, which means I just did a video yesterday, technically. Um, but I guess that didn't really count. I mean, well, I guess it counts. Anything counts. I mean, whatever. But I guess I just did a video. I feel like I have the time to make videos. And so I, I know I've, like, been not on video. Or I've been on video but not um, saying the normal stuff that I normally... Or not talking about the... Not saying the normal stuff I say. Um, not talking about the normal stuff I talk about. Um, so I felt like I needed to catch up and um, get you guys going. So, um, television. Okay, so I've been... And I'm sure... I think I mentioned in the last video... Um, Pitch Perfect. If you have not seen the movie Pitch Perfect, I know the previews show singing, and some people just can't get with it. I, I completely understand. And the music is not as... I mean, the music... The movie is based on them making the music, but everything that happens in between... I mean, the music comes... It's not a musical, so please don't... I mean, it's not. It's a movie that has music in it. And so, I know a lot of people were... are People that I've mentioned it to or, or, or recommended it to were like, no, I don't want to watch no Glee movie. It's not... A, I mean, it's not. If you, wa if you watch Glee, then you probably will have liked Pitch Perfect or will like Pitch Perfect. However... If you don't like Lee, you will probably still like Pitch Perfect. Um, it is a great movie, and um, watch it. That's all I can say. I've probably seen it since I first seen it, um, and I don't. I'm not a big movie goer person. Like if I if there's a movie in like 3D or the IMAX that I want to see, like I'll go for those. But usually I just wait till they're on DVD. I just like. I don't know. Like, I, I don't have a. I, don't, I just I'm just not. I don't know. I would rather spend that nine dollars on the DVD when it comes out for 15 or whatever the case may be, or, or, I don't know. But anyhow, so I didn't get to see the movie in theaters. I just saw it, um, when it came out on DVD and, um, loved it ever since. And I've recommended it to everybody. I've shown it to everybody and everyone's loved it. People have it on repeat. I've probably seen it now 20, 30, 40 times and I love it. Cause then every time I notice something different about it, it's just really good. So watch that. Um, television wise, um, I must say that, um, Scandal is one of my favorite shows ever to ever be on television. And I don't really, I mean, I used to like like the ERs and the Law and Orders and stuff like that, but this one is just so much more interesting. They're so, um, I like things when you have, I like shows that engage you that you have to be paying attention to because I feel like, and I also, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like mine this television too. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but I really enjoy movies or shows that really kind of get you thinking, kind of get you engaged, trying to get you to figure out what's going to happen next. Um, kind of leave you on a note like, what in the hell is going on? I like that. It's engaging. And I, I really enjoy Scandal. Carrie Wash, I think it's Carrie Washington. She does an amazing job as Olivia Pope. And, um, she just, she just goes for it and she handles her business. And the, the show title is appropriate. I mean, first season, second season now, so appropriate for the name of that show and um, for the content of that show. It just all is like perfection. Um, it's just, it's just, and this, this is these are kind of loosely based on real situations that uh, that this is Olivia Pope character is a real person which makes it even more interesting um and how she she's you know a fixer she fixes shit and um and i don't mean like a t fucking tv she fixes situations um so and if you do, if you don't know um that little story check out um so i'm probably on ownnetwork.com of course duh um oprah did an interview with uh, the people at the cast of scandal or actually the creator uh shonda rhimes um carrie hilson and or carrie will uh, carrie washington uh See, Carrie Washington, and that's why I always get their names wrong, because I always get Carrie Hilson, Carrie Wilson, or Carrie Washington, and all of them confused, but anyways, Carrie Washington, and then the actual real character, I, mean, I can't remember her name, but it's not Olivia Pope, it's, it's a different name, but anyways, the actual character that the show is um, derived from, so it was a really good interview, so I'm sure you maybe can catch it on their website if you're interested in that, do check it out.
Um, other television that I watch, okay, so Modern Family and Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 24 or 23, whatever the number there is, um, and um, Happy Endings are three shows that I do DVR, love them all equally, um, Modern Family is quite possibly one of my favorite shows, New Normal, okay, I don't DVR New Normal because I go on purpose to watch it on demand because, um, I don't like to, I, that show I watch at my leisure whenever, so I catch up on three episodes at a time, especially these 30-minute shows. Like, I wish all the shows were an hour because I feel like I'd be more engaged, but these 30-minute shows, when you put them on DVR, I mean, when they put them on, on demand, then it's like 24 minutes, and it's like, okay, well, when I have an hour of time, I'll go and watch like two or three episodes. So that's why I don't really DVR that one because I feel like it's just one, it's just taking them space, and two, I don't watch them as consistently. So then that's that. Real Housewives of Atlanta, obviously, been a fan since season one, and um, Kenya Moore, I believe is, is just, I mean, she's taking Nene's place. She's being this crazy antic, I don't even know what you want to call her, person that is just kind of on a whole nother level. And I like her in some regards, but I'm like, girl, what are you, what, what is your issue? Like, she's definitely quite not all there, maybe. Um, but she um, is bringing what the show needs, I think, because all the other ones are not boring. They all have things going for them, but they're maybe not as the drama as that we come to love and know from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, um, yes, she's gone with the one fabulous, as am I. So, you know, we could relate. And so, um, yeah, I do watch that show and I do love it. Uh, what else? Something else used to come on Sundays that I used to love, but I, it's now over. Oh, well. Um, I can't remember that. Hmm. Okay, so I, Bravo, obviously. Shaw's of Sunset. I didn't watch season one. I didn't even know this was the second season that I started watching. I believe this is the second season. Um, but apparently there's a season one that I never even got into. I never really paid attention to, but lately I have been. I've watched the last four episodes, um, so I don't know what I've missed. Um, but I love that show. I love the, I love Oz. Aja, I think her name's Aja, A-S-A, um, she is just, like, so naturally, like, she's just very natural and very, she's a big, she's not big, she's just, like, thick, beautiful, curvy, Persian, I think she's Persian, I think they're Persian, all, all of them are Persian, um, and she's just so comfortable with who she is that she will wear, like, anything that she feels like wearing, and I just love that about her, it, she does, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, and that's why I think everyone should be, um, that's why, I mean, look at me, um, I don't really care what anyone thinks, as long as I appreciate what I do and look, and how I look when I walk out the door, that's really all that matters to me, uh, because ultimately, I know that I was, I put my stamp of approval before I walked out the door, um, um, and I feel like that's her attitude, too. And I love that about her. I mean, she does, like, crazy eye makeup. Well, I wouldn't say crazy. I mean, different eye makeup because I don't think it's crazy. I mean, it's just her. So she does different eye makeup than what you would think uh, what the rest of the girls do on the show. She's very unique. Her jewelry is amazing. Um, just the way she speaks, her mindset is amazing. Like, she really is someone that I, despite the craziness that goes on the show, she's someone that kind of, to me, is the grounded, keeps... Keep, well, they all kind of have their own moments in time, but she's one that has, like, her head on straight and, and is grounded. Um, so if you haven't checked out that show, check that out. What else is on my DVR? Obviously, the Oprah's and the Fix My Lives. Um, that's not on right now, but it's on my DVR. So as soon as that happens, um, we will be watching that again. And Super Soul Sunday, obviously love Super Soul Sundays, and let's see what else is there. Mm, I'm not looking at my DVR now, I'm just kind of thinking what's on there. So, I can't really think of anything else that's on there. Um, girls, ugh, I die. Okay, so here's the thing, I've noticed that, um, I've tried it, we started, it's, second season just started last week, so, um, oh, Mary Mary, okay, so let me get back to girls, and then we'll get to Mary Mary. So, girls, if you have not watched the first season of Girls, watch the first season of Girls. Because you really, that's really, I feel like it's important for you to get this situation. To get sh Girls, um, I really don't normally like shows that you have to like, oop, I just burped, that's gross, I'm sorry. Unexpected, but nonetheless it happened. So, um, let's own it, because <laughs> I'm sure you heard it. It was very low. I tried to, like, mute it at the very end there, but it didn't work out. So, anyhow. Back to Girls. Um, if you have not watched Girls, watch Girls. Season 1 you must watch first. Like, I don't, and I really don't recommend shows that you have to watch the first season, but 
watch season one. Um, just to get the backstory about why these characters are the way they are in season two, which just started last week, last Sunday, the new, se- new episode comes on tomorrow. So you have to have, you kind of have to have that backstory in order to appreciate where season one picks up. Um, because I w- had um, Samster watch episode one with us, uh, with me um, on last Sunday, and he was just like, what's going on? Like, I don't get it. So in order for you to get it, you have to have seen a good portion of season one to kind of get the journey as to where they are today. Um, and same thing with Scandal. I feel like you have to watch that episode. Um, it's on Hulu. Or, so one of the episode, one of the seasons is on Hulu. One of the seasons is currently on... Um, uh, no, season one is on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, go and watch it on Netflix. And then Hulu has the current episodes and as well as um, on Comcast On Demand. So... Find those, watch them, love them, and then thank me later. And then, um, um, so that's Girls. Cho- Girls is, to me, the modern, less produced version of Sex in the City. Um, dealing with real shit, <laughs> real emotions, real situations, real, just the ra- more raw interpretation of Sex and City to me. That is my, and I'm not saying, I, I'm not trying to, they're definitely, they're definitely apples and oranges. However, in relation to the, the, the premise and the, what's happening is definitely kind of similar. Um, the, the relationships that these girls have, the bond that they have, the friendships that they have amongst each other. That's, that's the, that's the comparison there, the simile there. Um, so anyhow, then there's Mary Mary. So Oxygen has great shows. Um, they're very good content driven. There's not a whole lot of negativity, not a whole lot of fighting, not a lot of drama. The Braxton's, um, Cindy Lauper has her own show now, which I haven't watched. Apparently it debuted. I thought it was coming, started today as in Saturday. Um, but apparently the two episodes are already shown and I'm, don't have that on DVR. So I need to go on demand and watch those shows because I love me some Cindy Lauper and I'm sure I will love her. She's always been like really kooky to me and so I'm sure I'm going to love that. Um, but I haven't watched that yet, but I will and I'll let you know. Um, but Mary Mary is the show about the gospel group Mary Mary. Now when I say gospel, a lot of people go wah, wah. No, but these girls keep it 100. Like still, they're not ghetto, they're not hood, they're not ready to throw down. They're very about their business. Um, they've built this career based on their, and there's not, I mean, Mary Mary is neither one of them names. One's named Erica, one's named Tina. And, um, so one is very the, like to me, the, the one part I and I really connect with her on this because um, one the, the the stylist is the, another sister who had a boyfriend who was trying to get up in their business and talking to the manager and saying stuff and she just kind of put it out there will be nobody coming up in my business up in my life and telling talking speaking to or mentioning or commenting on any of my business and I kind of felt I felt her on that because there's a lot of people talking in commentary and and sharing their opinions about my business and quite frankly I don't really care what you think um so please um refrain and so I really connected with her but I've been watching it for two seasons now so love them love that and um I love it. So that's pretty much my wrap up of my DVR. Um, I think the next video I'll do is some music stuff. Being that it's a new year, I'll recap what happened in 2012 with music um, as far as my selections and best CDs and whatnot. Um, because I really do want to start building this uh, channel up again with me. <laughs> um, not the crying drama diva, but the. And P.S. Um, you guys really must like to see this bitch cry because. The video of me um, going boohoo and shit up on here with no voice is like one of if my last few videos that I've uploaded. It has the top views, so you guys really like that shit. Or maybe I said something in that you guys just latched onto and have to keep watching it. I don't really care, but I appreciate you do watching any of the stuff that I do post, and so thank you for that. Um, and lastly. Um, I wanted to say, as I was putting my lipstick on today, I wanted to point out that it is a cold season, ladies and gentlemen, so it is very important, this is my public service announcement for the evening, um, it is very important that you put some moisturizer on your lips, because that crusty look, that, that like, white, chappy stuff that gets, like, right up on the, and I, I'm speaking from experience, uh, because I know, and it's not cute. Cut it out. Like, put some moisturizer, get some chapstick, get some um, uh, va- Vaseline, shit, I don't care. 
get some more get some moisturizer on your lips the, it's cold out your lips are drying up and that that gooey white stuff on your lips is not cute so uh use some chopstick thank you guys for watching and good night